All right, so this time around, uh, we're going to import the, the, the DWG file. Uh, you have already that one in your, in your desktop. So what you need to do is just simply type here DWG, okay, DWG. And then you notice that there, on the application here, there will be a DWG profile to library. So meaning we, we don't need to, to do that one, one by one. Uh, I mean, to, to create our uh, profile, but if you have available shape, then you can call that one using this DWG to library. So all you have to do is open the, the, uh, the application. So while opening the application, you can go to the parameter. This one is very simple because all you have to do is to call the input file, which is the DWG file. So just browse that one, and then you can go to your desktop, or you can go to the path where you install or copy the, the file that I have given to you. <coughs> um, for me, in my case, it will be under my files and this one. Just make it sure that your profile is, I guess it's better not a P line, just a line, but it's connected, okay? And no dimensions. You need to purge that one. You need to clean it up. No other uh, information inside. Okay? Just a normal geometry. Okay? Because the position, the position, no. It doesn't matter whether it is in 0, 0 or in what coordinates. Because this one, it's just import the geometry. Okay? So here, the section name. You need to specify the section name. So what will be the section name? I will just simply type here WL. Why WL? Okay? That's the section name, or YWL, oh no, YW, or I can put here deck, uh, deck A, okay, and then here I will just put the, the name YWL deck, okay, deck, and then I can put here, let's say, uh, 9 meters, 9,000. Because this one is something like a, is a fixed profile. If you have a different size, you can put the, uh, what do you call that? You can put the information of the width, if you like. Because since this one is, is a pre fixed profile, so it will only, uh, you can only import the same shape, the same shape and the same size. Okay? So if you have a many different sizes, then you can put the profile name according to the size. Okay, and here under the profile attributes, just simply change this one to question mark. And other than that, it's okay. Maybe if you want to put a center point offset on X, if you, want, if you have a value on that one, minimum distance uh, between points is maybe if your, if your profile is something like there's a one millimeter, one millimeter uh, line so you can put this one as less than one millimeter, okay? But since for a bridge deck, I think you don't have a one millimeter uh, uh, line, right? So this one is okay, we, we use the default. So I'm going to apply this, and all I have to do is to select again this, and then here, pick position, pick position. So if I pick two points here, one and then two, so the system, the application is running, and then it will give you this profile. Okay, can you check if you have the same thing? So once you have this profile, you can close this one. You can close this one because the profile is already in your library. Okay, it will be in your library. Only in this model, uh, in this model. But of course, in other model, you have to import it again. So close this one, and then look. If you double click this one, here, see? Uh, YWL deck 9000. So that one is your profile. And then if you go to the library, then you can see that YW, you, if you type YWL here, see? Here, if you type here YWL filter, then it's there, see? <clears throat> so if you want to specify 
the uh, the weed or the the plunge thickness here then you can simply key in that one in the profile database but at the moment let's keep it this way okay so here if you want to uh, make it uh, front modify there you go so in this case if I close this one and then go to my concrete and sorry huh, here Again, I will type here YWL. Let's say I'm going to model it. Apply and OK. So this one I'll put here front. And then um, this one. And then here this. So look, if I'm going to pick from this point, one and then here. All right. So something like this. So this one, this one, I can just simply change. I can just simply change this one. Instead of 5,000, 5, I will put here uh, 4, 5, I guess. Oh, no. Sorry. So something like this. 4, 750. Okay. So apply and OK. So in this case, I can now add my, uh, my peer here. So something like this. Or maybe I can just simply copy that. Copy. <clears throat> this time we're going to just simply uh, go to your uh, to create a, a parapet profile okay we're going to use the plate to profile plate to profile so on your uh, component and catalog you type here plate and then under this plate, you can just simply scroll down and then look for the profile cross section from, uh, from plate. Profile cross section from plate. So how we are going to do this one? So look, okay, if I double click on this, again, same thing, under this parameter, you put the section name. So let's say, for example, this one is uh, uh, para pet. Okay, and then here, y, YWL uh, para 1 meter. Okay, and then profile also, question mark. Okay, only that one. Again, you need to put a section name, profile name, and then apply. So once you click apply, it will tell you here, pick object. But I don't have the object yet. Okay, sorry. We'll, uh, we'll put this one aside, okay? So... Before we pick the object, we need to model that, that, that one. Okay, so how? Go to your steel. Okay, you can see here steel. And then you can see the plate, right? You can see the plate, right? So select the plate. Whatever the thickness of the plate, it's okay. Then here, I can just simply uh, model that one. So let's say here, um, one, then one, one meter. 1 meter, and then here is how much? 150, and then going down is 800, 800, control, and then uh, 350. Oh, 350 is too big, maybe I'll just put a uh, 250, okay? Can you change that one to uh, 250, the red one? Change it to 250, and then go down, 650, 650, and then press the control again, and then move this one to, uh, uh, what do you call that, uh, one, 200, 150. Oh, sorry. This one is 400, 
minus 200 is 200. So here, 200. Okay? And then here, 200. And then 300 here. And then here, uh, okay. That one maybe I'll put here. Uh, can, can you put the dimension on that one? Maybe uh, 200 as well. Then 150. And then middle button of your mouse. <clears throat> so this is the shape of my... This is the shape of uh, of the parapet, okay? So if you want, you can you can still adjust this one, maybe 100 here. Make it uh, make it uh, 900 and 550. Sorry, yeah. Okay. So this shape, okay? This shape, you can you can create actually you can create any shape, huh? So this one. Uh, here, if you apply now the uh, cross profile cross section, I already put the name parapet and then the uh, the profile name apply, and then pick this one, and then look pick object. So I'm going to pick this plate. Look what will happen. There you go. So here it creates me the this this profile. Okay. So here this profile is already here. Copy and then. If I'm going to put it here, concrete, and then beam. So maybe I'll choose the different color here. <clears throat> so if I click here, so now, as you can see, you can uh, you can change the position by changing this. Yeah, and then this one maybe, nope, nope, mm, nope, Oops. difficult to control. Okay, I think this one is enough. So here, if you notice, I have this uh, right and front. So meaning, I can just simply, under the front, maybe I can type here uh, negative 300, yes, and then, under the right, I can put here negative 200. And there you go. So now it fits to my. So you can save that one and then just simply move this point and then here. And you have now this uh, parapet here. So again, pick this point and then pick it here. And there you go. So you have now the. The parapet using uh, using our uh, plate to profile okay plate to profile if you want you can create different shape okay all right so I think uh, that's all for uh, now on this uh, session <clears throat>